Hi, I'm Curtis Franklin, Contributing Editor at Information Week, and I'm here today talking with Elon Cohen, President and Chief Technology Officer of OpNet. Elon and I are going to be talking about application performance management, the impact that it's having on companies that are deploying it, and how it's changing things for the companies that are doing it right. Elon, OpNet works with many different IT organizations to help them with their application performance management. What are some of the major issues you're seeing your clients face today? Well, without a doubt, uh, based on surveys that uh, we've conducted and also based on our experience with our customers, one of the top concerns for IT executives today is the performance and the availability of their mission critical applications. So most enterprises have uh, dozens or even hundreds of applications that they consider mission critical and they use them either uh, to interact with their customers or with their partners. And uh, for them, of course, it's an absolutely critical issue that these, these applications continue to, to run effectively. And in fact, uh, our indications are and our surveys show that uh, if there's a brownout for uh, a major application, the cost to an enterprise can be between $100,000 and a million dollars before the problem is actually resolved. What are some of the specific technology issues they're being faced with? The, the, the challenge in particular is that it's becoming harder and harder to diagnose the root cause of application performance and availability problems. And this is driven by a number of factors. Uh, one is, and probably the greatest one, is that uh, applications are becoming more and more distributed. And that is distributed across complicated networks. And the reason for this is uh, trends like uh, service-oriented architectures or SOA, uh, virtualization, and in general, the complex uh, interweaving of applications that depend on each other. Uh, there are also uh, other trends like uh, applications becoming more distributed across domains. So application architectures are becoming more split up. So you'll have, of course, everything from the desktop uh, all the way to the application server and then the database server. Uh, and in between, you have uh, various types of devices like load balancers. Uh, you also have uh, content servers, a number of different complicated devices that are part of the application infrastructure. This is introducing complexity. Uh, furthermore, what it does organizationally is it means that many people have to be involved in solving application performance problems. And this can lead to a variety of political or organizational challenges, including in the worst case, people pointing fingers at each other in terms of who is responsible for solving the application performance problem or where does the real problem actually lie the companies that have existing solutions, are you finding that they are comfortable falling back on those old solutions or are they looking for something new? Well, I think, I think clearly they're looking for more proactive ways. I think having some reactive capability is a, is a, is a starting point. I think most people recognize that uh, they'll need at minimum some capability to react to problems because there's no way you can eliminate all problems in the environment. Some problems are going to make it into production. So you need to be able to react to those. Uh, but then to be ahead of the curve, to be able to be proactive, is the next step on the maturity curve. 